Hi there. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can share timers in your Google Classroom. So first, what's going to be handy is that I do have a topic now in this Google Classroom, and it's called Timers. This is a great way of organizing all your different timers so the students can select the timers that they need. Now, in a Google Doc, I've actually started to create some timers here, just some quick links for you guys to help to, to use. So you can see the URL here. It's really .e like egg timer.com slash 10 minutes. Just simple as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this timer here, this URL, and I'm going to go back to our timers here, and I'm going to create material, and I'm going to call this our 10 minute timer. minute timer or 10 minutes timer however you want to word it and what's important here is that I have then the link you could of course just have the whole material being timers and then you could have your 10 minute five minute two minutes or whatever how many minutes you want that's completely up to you and then just have multiple links underneath that one particular uh, material you can organize it and you can decide here I'm gonna put under the topic of timers and I can, of course, post to multiple classrooms or uh, just that only certain students see it. But I'm going to post for all and just for this particular Google Classroom, there's a 10 minute timer. Let's see it in action. So clicking on that, clicking on the timer, a new tab is opened up and automatically we have this timer that goes like this. And there you go. Just let it run its course and I'm just going to quit that one right there and I'm just going to model one how you would do it for other times. So I'm going to model this URL. What I'm going to do is, is if I copy it, it kind of gets a little messy. So I'm just actually going to quickly just type it out here. But instead of the 10 minutes, I'm going to type five minutes. And if I press the space bar, it's now a URL. So I can take this and I'm going to, and I'm not too sure why it says 455 every time I do this, but it does when I copy this and paste. And it will start at the five minute and 59 seconds. So you will see that it is a five minute timer. So taking that, I'm gonna go back to now my Google Classroom and I have a five minute timer started for material. The topic is going to be under timers. And then I'm going to add this link. And it does sound again like it's a little weird because it does say the 455 here, but it is a five minute timer indicated in the title. And when you do click on it, it does have a news you can see with the URL, it is five minutes. So let's post that. And then we have, a, oh, it's funny because the 10 minute timer does the same thing with the 955. And uh, last thing we could do is for the one minute, we could do it for 30 seconds. The same idea over and over again. Uh, another timer if you wanted, if you didn't want to use these egg timer ones, you could use just Google. If I click on Google and I just say 10 minute timer, automatically it starts we have this timer and we can click stop when we want it to stop we can make it full screen if you'd like and you can now have your timer on the go to grab this link it's a little bit of a i would say a kind of sort of like an uglier link here you can copy that though and you can paste it wherever you like and that could be your google 10 minute timer same idea for five minutes two minutes one minute whatever you like I just want to make sure that that you knew that that was your options here. So if I wanted to now just grab that URL, I could do 10 minute timer. Let's go back to this one. I'm going to edit and let's add another link. And I'm going to save. So that way we can do the 10 minute timer um, here and you wanted the Google one, there you go. You can go full screen and you have your 10 minute timer. So lots of great options for you. Have fun, uh, keep on track. So whether it's students keeping track on doing their work or teachers even keeping track of the work that they're doing, um, it's completely up to you. What's great is it's not really shown here in the Google one, but for the egg timer one, I just do have to show you this really neat piece. If I click on, let's say this five minute timer, for example, you will see, even if I'm going along here to other work, if I'm in my Google Drive, or if again, if I'm back in my Google Classroom, or I'm in a Google Meet, 
you'll see that the, the countdown is right here actually in the tab the whole time, which is nice to also keep us on track.